Hi folks, thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Today we're going to take a look at an antenna produced by Tim, November 9 Sierra Alpha Bravo, the 40 through 10 meter Mini Wyndham. In this box is the November 9 Sierra Alpha Bravo multiband 100 watt Mini Wyndham. It's a 40 meter half wave dipole fed one third of the distance from the end. The Mini Wyndham ships in this weather resistant hard case. The antenna requires a tuner. Using the tuner, the Mini Wyndham allows for operation on all bands 40 through 6 meters. The Mini Wyndham is light, very portable, and truly rugged. I have seen several of Tim's antennas up close and have been very impressed with their solid construction. It's worth noting that if you order an antenna from Tim, he will build the antenna and test it on the air before shipping it out to you. Let's see what's in the box. First we have the Mini Wyndham itself with an integrated 4 to 1 impedance transformer placed at the apex. Next there is a 10 foot vertical section complete with connectors to be placed between the voltage ballon and the choke. This 10 foot section of the feed line radiates resulting in a radiation pattern which includes low angle emanations useful for DX operating. There is a miniaturized portable RF choke that is connected at the feed point. An end protector cap is provided for each of the three connectors. Technical details for the Mini Wyndham can be found at Tim's eBay store. Okay, now that we know what we are dealing with, let's get the Mini Wyndham up in the air. The ideal installation for this type of antenna is as a flat top or horizontal orientation, but today I'm going to use it as an inverted V. A 40 foot spider beam fiberglass pole will be used to support the feed point and I'll attach the RF choke about 30 feet up the pole. I don't want to put the feed point any higher. If I did, the pole would flex bringing the feed point down and making the pole less stable. I'll run the 10 foot vertical section right down the pole, attach the choke, then connect the coax, run the feed line down to the ground, and then over to the operating position. I'll attach a short length of paracord to the end of each radial, then use camping stakes as an anchor for each leg. It's important to ensure the angle of the V is greater than 90 degrees. A smaller angle will result in poor SWR and an underperforming antenna. Note that fiberglass poles will not detune a wire antenna, so running the vertical section straight down the pole is not an issue. I'll get the antenna set up and come right back. Okay, the antenna is up. Took me, uh, took us a little while to get it up. Uh, what we've done is guide the uh, the spider beam. Uh, we've got the uh, the feed point up uh, pretty close to uh, 35 feet, I guess, uh, maybe even a little bit higher. Um, and so we've got the vertical element of the mini Wyndham running down uh, the the mast, where it then uh, attaches to the choke and then onto the coax for good. Um, uh, it's as you can see erected in, a, in an inverted V configuration uh, and uh, it is diametrically opposite actually just incidentally to the uh, the 80 meter off-center fed that we'll be using for field day today. I'm going to take another angle at this and, and show you the installation. Okay I'm going handheld mode here I just want to show you the uh, the paracord tied off to the uh, the long end of the uh, the off-center fed dipole, the, the mini Wyndham here, and uh, just panning up uh, towards the mast. Okay, here's a look actually at the base of the mast, and you can see I've got a couple of uh, short pieces of paracord tied off to tent pegs. I just want to keep the base of the mast from walking around, but here you can see the coax coming down, leading over to the operating position. The rig I'll be using is my FT817. Since the Mini Wyndham requires a tuner, I'll be using this Kenwood AT120 manual tuner. I refuse to use automatic tuners with the FT817, as many amateurs have experienced blown finals while using automatic tuners with that rig. Being careful with the manual tuning process, I can help preserve the health of the power amplifier unit in the FT817. With automatic tuners, you have no control. The tuner keeps going until it finds a good match often exposing the rig to very high SWR levels. You also can't stop the process to give the power amplifier a break. Okay, we're all hooked up and ready to go. Let's see how the November 9 Sierra Alpha Bravo Mini Wyndham performs. November 9, 
number two, Mike Oscar, Victor Echo three, Tango, Whiskey Mike. This is Andy two, Mike Oscar, go ahead. Yes, good afternoon. This uh, name here is Paul, and we're just setting up our uh, antenna for field day. I wonder if you could give us a signal report. We're running uh, 5 watts QRP into a mini window. We're back to you. Remember 2 Mike Oscar, Victor Echo 3 Tango, Whiskey Mike. Yeah, Victor Echo 3 Tango, Whiskey Mike from uh, N2MO. Um, for 5 watts, you're doing great. Uh, we're, uh, I was giving you a 5 by 7. A 5 by 7. Not bad. But noise level is low, so you guys might that good. Um, you know, no guarantees when the content starts. And, uh, very well there. Uh, uh where, where are you located? Are you located near Hershey? November, November, this is a November 2 Mike Oscar. This is a Canadian station, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. We're located about 35 kilometers west of Toronto, at the tip of Lake Ontario. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I wrote your call as WA3. I'm sorry. It's Victor Echo. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, five watch. You can't beat it. You're doing great for five watch. The only thing is, if uh, you know, when you get the time zone, you know, you're going to have to be hundreds of signals out there, and you're going to be uh, probably drowning in the, in the signals, in the noise with everybody else, but other than that, it's great, you know, if, if I watch, man, I salute you, that's a good signal. Okay, very good, well, thanks for coming back, you're five and nine here, five and nine, and yes, we realize the challenge, but we're up for it, <laughs> seven, three, maybe we'll catch you in the contest later on, thanks for coming back, November two, Mike Oscar, Victor Echo three, Tango, Whiskey Mike. All right, 73. This is 73 GIN. We're giving free radio checks here for field day stations on 55. Listening for any stations. Check in. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike, QRP. Okay, let's pick up the QRP station first. QRP, come on in. Okay, Whiskey Alpha 3, Gulf Indian November. This is Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. Operating QRP for field day on a mini window. Appreciate a report. Back to you. All right, real good. The E3 TWM QRP uh, from Canada. You're doing great. Your Wyndham is working for you. Over. Okay, excellent. Well, you're five nine here. No problem with your signal. Thank, thank you very much for the report. Uh, WA3 GIN from the E3 TWM. Okay, real good. You're going to have fun with that. Seventy three. We worked several QRP stations this morning, so you guys are going to be out there. They ought to give you your own frequency. 73, we'll see you later. Who else? Well, I have to admit the Mini Wyndham did very well. Paul and I had no trouble making contacts, even at QRP levels. Several of the operators we contacted expressed their surprise at just how good a signal we were putting out. You know, the Mini Wyndham uh, not only seems to be performing well, but I can tell from its construction. It's a very high quality product, it's durable, it's going to last uh, being thrown in a bag, taken out into the field, deployed and taking back down again. So I think this makes it an ideal candidate for field day or other portable operations. For more information on the Mini Wyndham, be sure to check out Tim's eBay store, November 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo uh, HF antennas. I'll post the link in the comments below. At this point, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate everybody who's given my videos a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And having said all of that, thanks for watching. I'm really looking forward to doing more videos. we got field day coming up in a couple of hours. I'll be posting a video on that one. My thanks to Tim, November 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo, for sending me the Mini Wyndham to test. Uh, can't wait to see how it does at field day. For all of you out there, uh, all the best of 73. Thanks for tuning in. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3, TWM.